I've been in the industry for 20 years. Manisha didn't call me for even one movie. Yeah, Manisha told me just one thing before. He was like, always keep in mind Jailalitha Amma. You know, the way she walks and her confidence. I want to look nice. I mean, while I still have time, I want to look stylish and swag. And he said, no, no, take it out of your dictionary. Let's do this. Come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> But Manisha would get irritated. <laughs> I would come and ask him questions and he would say, did you read the book in the morning? <laughs> we are doing the film, not the book. <laughs> read the script. <laughs> so he says, Bonnie and Selman doesn't look down. That's it. After that, I never looked down. And uh, It's been a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Such a pleasure to have all of you on Film Companion. First of all, first of all, this frame is just, there's too much talent, beauty, wow. star <laughs> power. It's it like, I feel like we don't even have to talk. We can just sit and look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's totally mutual. Believe me. <laughs> yeah, we're so happy to be on your yes. show. Thank you. Uh, the trailer looks spectacular. I cannot wait to see this film. Vikram uh, sir, I want to start with you. Sure. Um, now, you've of course worked with Mani sir before. Right. You've done Ravan. And, and I haven't read the book. I haven't read Pony and Salman. But from what I've read around it, uh, I believe that Ravan and Aditya Kalikaran yeah. are sort of cut from the same cloth, oh, yes. right? They're a little frenzied, little disturbed. Same. And both of them are in love with Aishwarya and both of them don't get her. <laughs> and she's married to someone else. <laughs> same story, which is what I told him when he first said, do you want to, you, you should do this. Huh. And uh, that's the first thing he said, actually. He said, you do this. If you, you want to do this, we'll do, we're supposed to do another film. Right. But then he said, uh, we're going to do this. But if you're willing to do this, we'll do this. I'm not going to do it now. And I said, but sir, it's the same character and like as an actor, I'd like to try something different, but this will be too clean. You're having Ash again. He said, no, no, you can do it. But then I realized that, I mean, as an actor, you can really explore. There's so much to be explored inside you, which you've never done before. And I'm so, I mean, I, I, I felt very good that I could bring that out. I mean, when I see the frames and when I see my character, I realize there's so much difference between the two. But the emotions are almost the same, but that's like rightly, but I think you're the first person to tell me that. But tell me, do you ever ask Mani, so why he sees you like this? That's very sad because I, I'd like to, <laughs> I've always told him I want to do a, you know, like a Bond film or right. something or really suave. No, not happiness. I just happy want to. Want. No, he's really good with style and romance. Right. So I used to right. tell him, he said, yeah, this is romance. I said, not this. I need to look, I want to look nice. I mean, while I still have time and I want to look stylish and swag and. He said, no, no, take it out of your dictionary. Let's do this. Come back, come back. To <laughs> but I don't know, maybe he sees a tragic hero in me. Do I look like that? Very sad and a cup of coffee. And, no, right? Not at all. Maybe he's, in his eyes, I look like that. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of actors who work with Manisa always say that it's like going to university. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Kathy, I believe you were the best student of this university. You've been hearing wrong things. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. Right, yeah. Ravi? He's... But, yeah. but you've also, of course, been Manisha's AD. Right. Now, has did that help you to be like a more, uh, a better student than everybody else? <laughs> See, being better student is up to your, uh, you know, the liking to come and learn. But uh, but with Manisha, I think uh, as an AD, what he expects you is to be, you know, 10 times of him. Hmm. He says, I've done 15 films or 14 films when I joined him. He says, you've not done one film yet. So I would expect you to be much hmm. eager you know, I'm much more passionate than what I am. So that's how we started. So he, we have to be on heels to not be shouted at, <laughs> to being able to, you know, work on sets. That's how uh, attentive you have to be on sets. So that's where I learned my basics. But when with Manisha, I think he always given me a space to question him or, you know, clear my doubts. So that has really helped me because most people are scared to talk to him. But from the beginning, he's given me that space where I could go and say that, Sir, I'm not liking this performance of this actor or I'm not liking the way this actor is dressed right from my first film. So I think he gave me that space to get close to him, talk to him. Uh, we'll get shouted at, but we don't, we don't stop. It doesn't stop us from questioning him or asking him. But tell me, to, to pitch your performances, was the book required reading or did he want you all to work off, its, off the screenplay? You know, is it, is it sort of Kalki plus Manisa's vision? Or did he want you to first see Kalki's vision? What, what did you all do? Not at all. I don't think we needed to have read the book to be in this film. But um, this is Mani Ratnam sir's Pony and Selvan. That's right. how I look at it at least. Yeah. And um, 
I was in the process of reading the book. So there were a lot of things that I just think I went and met Mani sir, like totally un unlearning everything. So it was his vision that at least I tried to bring out. And what about the rest of you? Did you? So for me, he said, no, don't read the book. He read told you script. not to read. He said, you read the script and then you read the book. Right. So yeah. I first read the script. I gave whatever I felt about the film. I told him. And then I went back and started reading the book. Um, but that was also important. But Manisa would get irritated. <laughs> I would come and ask him questions and he would say, did you read the book in the morning? <laughs> we are doing the film, not the book. <laughs> you read the script. <laughs> but I think uh, for me, I really enjoyed reading that book after so many years, getting to know so much about our history, you know, and the writing of uh, Kalki, you know, he, he wrote poetry inside a novel and uh, the, the explanations of each character, you know, the, there would be thoughts of each character before a character meets another character. Mm -hmm. Those are so many insights which you can take, probably it won't come on my face, but I'm aware of it. Yeah. So I, I wanted to be prepared that way. And Ravi, for you? <coughs> uh, for me, uh, when I asked him whether should I read the novel first, because I've heard the novel, my mother saying, you know, reading it out to me at a very Your young age. Your mom had read it out to you. Yeah, she's a literature student, so right. Tamil literature student. Right. So at a very young age, I've listened to what she said. Uh, but uh, when I asked Mani sir, he told me, try. That in a very sarcastic way, <laughs> which I remember <coughs> because uh, five volumes, you cannot, you yeah. cannot finish it. It's uh, a big one. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. So he said, try. I tried and I finished two volumes in it. <laughs> so, and uh, suddenly the script reading happened. So when I went there, I saw a screenplay sitting on the desk, not just dialogues. So Pune in Saloon as a novel, uh, as a book is different in a way when it is uh, taken to the screen. So the screenplay yeah. was much closer to my character. You know, what's fascinating to me is that, of course, it's such a male world. Right, this this world of of these cholas a thousand years ago, but the women are such key players. Yeah, you know, yeah. they're not uh, they're not uh, just there as props. You know, your your character Kundavai, your character Vanati, they they're like they're smart women, they're ambitious women. They're yeah. obviously restricted by gender, but they are propelling the narrative. You know, yeah. they're actually doing things, and and uh, apparently the the sort of the confrontations between your character and Nandini, Nandini is, yeah. is the spine of this, this novel. Uh, how did the two of you get into these women's heads? I mean, did you, was it hard to place yourself or is it that kind of novel and it's timeless because it speaks to every decade, it speaks right. to now? Do you want to go um, my, <coughs> What I play in this film is actually a, a stark difference. Uh, There's a stark difference between everything I've done so far. Um, I've not played uh, someone who's so innocent and, and Mani sir was uh, very clear-headed about what his idea of innocence was. He didn't need it to be coy. Even absolute truthfulness is also innocence. Yeah. So that is the version yeah. of innocence we went for and I've not played a part that's a bit like a bumbling, babbling, you know, bird. So it's a bit like that, like a doe in the woods. So there's a certain joy, a lightness. Um, and that's new for me because I think I've been, uh, I've mostly been like playing parts that had a certain um, severity of emotion. Yeah. So for me, it was new. It, it was pleasurable. It was very enjoyable because I was able to be that version of myself. Yeah. I was discovering it for myself too. Well. And Trisha, for you? Actually, I would say Kundavai was a bit of a rebel because like you said, back in that era, uh, you know, a woman even voicing her thoughts was kind of unheard of, let alone a princess coming in, walking into a courtroom full of men and kind of saying what she wants to say. And we kickstarted my day one with that scene, which had like a really, like many dialogues and like with, so, I mean, um, uh, it, I was a bit... Not intimidated would be the wrong word, a little nervous because I had to give money, sir, what he wanted. But that part of feeling and being empowered is something I took from today and just fitted into that era because besides the way she looks, her physicality and uh, she belongs to that era, but she's actually a today's woman. Yeah. Maybe. She's modern. Yeah, because she's, she's voicing her thoughts. She believes like she has to do what she has to do irrespective of what the men think of her. Mm. So I kind of enjoyed that. 
you know, it, like she said, you, we didn't have to be coy or anything. The women are so strong. And then again, the face off with Nandini, she has to have a certain personality type for that because Nandini is also a very strong personality type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that part of it, I, I really enjoyed playing that. And Mani sir told me just one thing before he was like, always keep in mind Jailalita Amma. You know, the way she walks and her confidence. You don't necessarily need to feel it inside. I mean, I'm sure you would even relate to that. We may go through mixed emotions within, but you just got to keep that confidence going. You know, yeah, like yeah. even when she needs to have a meltdown, there's a scene like that. She can't do it. She has to have a certain confidence because she's a princess. And Manisa would keep instilling that in, in my head, saying that, be a princess, think, think, think that you're one, you know, start acting like it, hold your head high always. So I kind of went with that in every frame that we shot. <laughs> that, that reminds me of how he had the opposite thing for me. He's like, you can go back to being depressed after cut. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's challenging to always be happy and bubbly. And <laughs> <laughs> but Kavi, I believe you got... Us shouting because you were looking down. Yeah. And obviously you as the titular Pony and Selvan cannot ever look down. Never, never. And you never looked down after that. No, uh, not even when I was uh, getting down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was counting with my feet somehow, you know. <laughs> but it is that uh, he uh, gives you a certain guideline for the character which we need to follow. Or which will help us to, you know, get into the skin of the character. So... Sometimes, you know, things like this happen. And that's when you know exactly what he wants, you know. That emotion comes out of him. We have to bring it out of him. So he says, Pony and Selvan doesn't look down. That's it. After that, I never look down. And uh, It's been a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Since he's seen the floor. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I really like what Ravi said yesterday. That Manisa does not direct you to act. He explains his vision of a character. So, you know, you kind of, that's so yeah. instilled in you that you automatically, it that's why out. the actors in his film are so different yeah. from probably what we've done in other films yeah. itself. And yeah, that was a really, it, it made so much sense. Yeah. He, he never teaches you how to act. He makes you understand, understand the, character, the character. That those are two different things. Yeah. Yeah. And One, his understanding of characters is also, yeah. sorry, yeah, no. his understanding of characters is also very different. Now, yeah. your character, Karthi, yeah. is, yeah. is so interesting. Mandya Devan is the narrator, right? Yeah. But he yeah. And he's playful, he's flirtatious, he's comical, but he's also regal. How did you find that balance? Um, see, uh, like I always say in every interview, when I met men, I didn't have a problem. I knew how to strike an equation. I was also trying to read history to understand how the society was. Like when they see king, they say ko, which is equal to God. So, it is not your prime minister or it's not your president, you know, for, for this generation, for us to understand who's our leader, it, it, they put the king in the pedestal of a god. Yeah. So, how you react to a king is very different or how you react to anybody else in a society is very, very different. I was trying to understand that. So, it doesn't uh, seem similar to how we do anything today. I was trying to figure that out. Uh, but when it comes to uh, meeting Nandini or when it comes to meeting Kundavai and then when I meet Pony and Selvan, uh, Arthi Karagam is my friend. Yeah. But all these people I've never met before. So, Manisa would give me insights into what is the equation with them. He is someone who can befriend anybody. So, when I meet Kund uh, Nandini, I have thousands of thoughts running in my mind. I should not give away what I know, but I should try to get something from her, but I'm also smitten. <laughs> so, all this have to, those attributes have to come together. These insights Manisa would give me. Sir, I don't want him to be innocent here. I want him to look intelligent. You know, that's how he would brief me when, as we go through the scene. But with Kundavai, he has to impress her. You know, he, he wants to impress every girl. He doesn't even spare a uh, fisherwoman. So, <laughs> that's how he is. But when it comes to Kundavai, all this journey, he wants to meet the princess. Somehow, he wants to know whether she likes him. You know, he wanted that attribute. So, but when it comes to Ponin Selvan, he would have a completely different brief. So, that way, I think we were exploring the character together. That's what Manisa says. You know, any character, we both are going to explore. It's not just your job or my job. So, so come with, you know, uh, with this ideas. openness of discussing with me. Yeah. We'll explore it together. Yeah. That's how he takes us through. But you know, these characters that all of you are playing, they've been loved for generations, right? Yeah. 
everyone who's read these. And they each have a fan club. I mean, they, they have fan clubs. Exactly. <coughs> they fight amongst themselves. Sundar <laughs> is the best. She's or Nandini or Vandey Tevan. <laughs> and they could be like the guy who's saying it could be my fan, but he'll say Vandey Tevan is the best. You know, it's like <laughs> that's that. right. That's right. Which is very scary. So, so when you were doing this exploration and when you were sort of co-creating with Manisa, did you have pressure thinking of like all these people who have a visual in their heads, right, of what each character should be like? Yeah. Uh, it's like Harry Potter. You know, when we first read the books, we all had... I got triggered. <laughs> when you said that, just now. Yeah. You can never match that expectation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, did you did you think of... The, was that pressure there? And did people advise you, like, passionate fans? Did they come up to you and say, yeah, Aditya Kalikaran, play him like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, they were just a little worried that I'm not too much... I'm not in the novel that much. I'm, I'm, I, come, I come very briefly. Huh. So, that was... Their only concern. Oh no, their, your fans are worried about that. That must be the only thing because it's, it's a multi-star cast. So right. It, for, it's very important for us there. So that was the only thing they were worried about. So like, they put, is he there <laughs> and stuff? Which, I mean, it didn't matter to me because this is, has been a character that I've always loved since a, since a child, since childhood. To the extent that when I wanted a name, my name is Kenny and I was actually thinking, why not keep it as Karigal, you know? But then there was already another actor called Curry Girl, and so I had to let, let that pass. So that's the impact he's had on me, and I, I was bent on doing this. I said, no, I, I, I'd love to do this. And, and I, I didn't have that thing of, like, will I be able to match the experience? Because I have Manisa there, and you have your own way of presenting something. And, and like you said, it's again a challenge for me. It should, he should be very different from Veera. Yeah. So all that like, kind of triggered a lot of interest in the character. Mm. Did you all feel the pressure? Mm. Yeah, of course we did. Course. I mean, Especially uh, you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, first of all, Mani sir made us uh, understand how important this was. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't take it as a pressure. Take it as a responsibility. And uh, you look at it in a positive way. You know? So I would say this character, however we play it, whoever we play it, this is this bunch of actors, mm -hmm. actors this set of actors who are playing it now. After 10 years, somebody else will play. That's how I thought. So this is not something, you know, this is it. You know, you, you can make flaws. You can be, you cannot be flawless. Uh, never. So you can make mistakes. It's not a problem. It's like getting a car. So the car is the same. The audience will uh, put an extra bumper for it. You know, <laughs> they'll put extra stickering for it. That's their, that's their choice. But the car is the same. Because Ponin Selvan's character has been etched in the book. So that is not going to change. So I will play it like I am the car. You do whatever on top of it. Your imagination, you put whatever you want on top of it. I don't care. <laughs> but my responsibility is to deliver the car to you. Right. You enjoy it. Right. <laughs> That's how I, I take it. That's it. But you know, Ravi, you tell this lovely story about how your father, the veteran editor, Mon, was such a passionate fan of the book that he would like rent a cycle to go and get the magazine when, when the book was as a serialized uh, form, it was coming out in the magazine. Yeah. So what was your first response when Manisa said, you are Pony and Selvan? <laughs> I just blanked out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I checked for somebody else in the room, you know, for a proof. So that, you know, he will not take that back. <laughs> I need some recording or something of that kind. That's are right. you sure? Give it in writing. Something like that. <laughs> Somebody to help me, you know, somewhere. Should I call Karthi and make him talk to you? Know, whatever. So that, that was going on in my mind. Thousand things were going on in my mind. But uh, on top of it, the happiness was the peak of it. You know, uh, I was so happy. That this film is being made, first of all, yeah, as a Yeah, fan. it's been a long yeah, time yeah, yeah. in the works. And you know what? Um, I've been in the industry for 20 years. Manisa didn't call me for even one movie. Yeah, you've never was, worked with yeah, him. Never yeah, never worked with him. So I was thinking, but maybe I'm not a good actor. Maybe he doesn't like me. What? What is... Uh, then he called me for this film. Yeah, the best one. Yes, thank you. How <laughs> <laughs> lovely. So that is... That is uh, it, it made my whole family happy. Because, you know, they were fans of uh, yeah. uh, the book, Manisa and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was this set like? You guys have shot two films in 150 days. And, and I mean, what a galaxy of stars. Um, the, the characters itself, I, I've read, there's over 50 characters in yeah. this book. Yep. Uh, 
what was the set like was it like an army operation or was it like a boot camp hmm. <laughs> every manisha film is like going to war yeah <laughs> <laughs> respect to how many characters are there because he doesn't like to shoot anything simple vikram sir was saying a very interesting story from raman please tell us i <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he does his blocking after every every shoot he says come like okay 6 o'clock we'll be ready to go to, to our rooms and he'll say no come come we need to do blocking and we'll go there and they say no where the costumes and come so it's like that so we'll block the shot and it's very complicated then he says go next day we'll be traveling somewhere else and see it's the same location no no it's a different location then he'll put you on a boat and it's that round uh, parasail yeah. we call it and it keeps turning what, what you've seen in drama yeah <laughs> and then he said okay get on it i said okay i'm mean, i'm going to cross he said no no that's the scene is on the boat i said okay but sir and he said okay okay now stand stand sir i can't sit and then he made me stand then he said okay spin it spin sir He said, "Now say the dialogue." So I had to go like, "Where's Ash?" And so because he likes to make it difficult, he likes to take us out of our comfort zone and yeah. you know have us there. And so I asked him, "Why didn't we do it?" He said, "That was too easy. Let's do something different." That's how he does every scene. Yeah. So it was different. Like what Karthi was saying, it's going for his shoot is like going to war. Mm -hmm. But imagine doing a film which is about wars. So you can imagine <laughs> it was like really the craziest thing. The ultimate thing. war. Yeah, and we have to be there at three o'clock or four o'clock or whatever. And all of us had uh, hair to be done and like just the women and jewelry and blah 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 and the. Uh, the costumes they used to buy they used to have a lot of scars before going to war itself and it was like strenuous i mean right. it's one of the most Physically, difficult films yeah. i've ever done yeah. but i'm sure all of us if he calls us again for another part of this we would again jump in and yeah. say let's yes. do it yes. we just love to do it punish us <laughs> that's how it is that's he how we want to he might not want to do it with us yeah, but we'll run yeah. in the opposite we won't give him a choice so we wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning yeah and then we go to get ready and there are already 100 people waiting for us Wow. And then we travel for one hour by road and then one hour by sea. And then one day I remember we were crossing on the highway we were figuring out where is a spot because we go for the exotic locations where nobody has been before. That's how Manisha finds places to shoot. And then uh, we're moving in and then we see like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock early morning and there's so much of light and we said which town is up at early morning? And then we realize it's our unit. There are about five hundred, six hundred people, like five hundred trucks. You know, there are people cooking, and there are people, you know, getting the costume. It was like a town, you know, in, you know, somewhere nowhere in Thailand. And so many vanity vans. Like, wow! So that's a crew. My God. <laughs> so that's, that's so the, exciting. That's the production, you know. That's yeah. how we were working. Yeah, yeah. And it's fun. Like, I, I go in the morning, and we're looking at Ravi getting ready there. We bump into each other. We drink coffee. They call for makeup. Say so we are not coming, <laughs> but there's no choice. I you have to go get ready. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, we had each other. You know, yes. we had each other to talk to. Yeah. And I think I would never forget it. You know, all of us prisoners to his craft. We had severe withdrawals once the shoot was done. Yeah. Because things got too easy after that. <laughs> no, no, no. Every other film is too yeah. easy too now. Easy. No, but you know the truth is, and and Shobha, you will have a sense of this, is that. at least here in hindi cinema it's very hard to do a multi star cast film yeah it's just very hard especially heroes there's not many heroes willing to work with each other and and it's amazing to me that all of you are in this movie are clearly he calls and people and show up it's not just us huh? i was mentioning this yesterday except for one maybe one or two everyone has been a hero or is a hero Correct. and everyone has been a hero it's it's like that yeah like everyone but we would never do it for anybody else for any other story yeah. i'm sure he's not had this in any other film too you know every character is etched so well and like you said even the women women are so strong in fact i think her character is more princely than the two of us you know she's the one who makes the call she's the administrator right why i am like in love i'm lost and right. he wants to become a sadhu or a buddhist monk you know it's a very but she's taken the reins and so that's how this went nandini nandini is again a very yeah. strong Yeah. personality yeah. so every character so every one even if it's one scene they're going to be there I mean, yeah it, they, it has would, impact and another yeah. thing is we also feel we want to be a part of this mm. not that it's been like 70 years since the books come out and everybody's been wanting wanting to make it but also because we all love this work and i think beyond it being a hit or whatever we we just want to be there in that film and remember because when he asked me this was the second time we're starting this i said no i just want to be a part of this i, I mean i don't care about anything i just want to be there Yeah. You can always show my grandchildren and say I was part of Pony and Sir. Exactly. Or PS One, whatever you call it. Exactly. <laughs> Add to that, like you know, uh, when you say it's kind of you know difficult to put together a multi-star in Hindi, uh, where this because I think characters are measured, the roles are measured at a script level itself, and I think 
when someone's worked hard enough to build a, a fan base, a box office market uh, where they can guarantee footfalls, and you know, it's 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 a lot of hard work. So I think people, actors, want to protect that and not just give it away. So if I were to think it from an actor's point of view, I mean, it seems understandable. And I do feel, I mean, he, I feel like one because it's Mani Ratnam sir, where there's a certain adulation. Uh, so there is a, a willingness to walk the extra mile, but more than that is the fact that everyone's character is miraculously relevant for, and and absolutely distinct. So there is no way one could be. It's not like everyone fighting for the same thing, but at the same time, I mean, everyone's fighting all the time. Uh, for the same things, and yet their pursuits are still very different. Uh, their their passions are very different in color. So I think nobody feels compared. Nobody feels jeopardized, yeah, irrespective of the length of the role. Yeah. So I think that had a large role to play. Otherwise, I I would think that it's how bizarre that these three men who are such popular actors are coming together, or women, to do something where once one feels a little less. That would seem weird to me as just a peer. But it makes sense purely because I think the writing and the way it's been distilled into a screenplay sort of grants everybody that dignity. Yeah, that's wonderful. I always believe that uh, we don't choose the characters; mm. the character chooses us. That's what I believe. So it's it's, it's has, it has chosen us. I believe. He's and, convinced. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say about Karthi about multi star. You're saying without Karthi. I wouldn't have been able to do this one. He's like a brother to me. I'm he sits here. there. Anna, <laughs> I'm coming I'm to you. No, <laughs> you're my. Uh, uh, I'm your fan. Come on, that is different. That, this, is good. different. Good. this is different. <laughs> this is different because Karthi had more action sequences than me. He was tired. And I used to go crib at him. Karthi, what the sir is doing like this, you know? And he bears his own pain. Bears my pain <laughs> and gets ready for the next shot. He takes me to horse riding also because God, the horse riding, I'm very scared. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no, really. no, no, without him, really, it is as you said. No, the topic came a multi star. Without this uh, bonding, yeah. we call it bonding, whatever the mm -hmm. affection, it wouldn't have happened. You know, with Trisha, with Shobita. We were all playing. We were playing table tennis and all. No? Yeah. Like you had shot, us but... and you were perpetually tripping on us, <laughs> which was your entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there is that man, that passionate man there. You know, when he is there, that vibe, that energy automatically yeah. comes. He used to be an assistant director in the set when he had no scenes. Really? Yeah. yeah. You used yeah. to be an assistant director. Yeah, I like doing that. What do you do? No, he'd be mad. No, there's a scene where all the bunch of people have to come into the the, the darbar, darbar, and uh, I think we were all getting ready and you know have to go and waiting for sir to say action and you know move and all that. And suddenly there was a lot of skirmish behind us. All the junior artists are getting you know like scared. Don't know what's happening because somebody is pushing from behind. Then we realize Vikram sir is pushing everybody from behind. <laughs> <laughs> it was not an AD doing that job, so they don't know where to look at. You know, to look here or look there. <laughs> No, he used to scare people like that. He was there on sets helping us around. And I have to say, you know, uh, like when we were sitting on sets and talking, this is not a multi star where one is beating the other. It's not that, you know, it's complementing each other. That's right. You know, like a cricket team or a football match where you, know, you pass the ball and take it and hit the goal. That's how, yeah. that's how we saw it. You know, as a team, we have to do it together. And he was saying something, you know, I want to be stylish and swag. Do you think you're not stylish and swag in this film? <laughs> come on, come on. And I, I was saying it, you know, like we've seen films, you know, like English films where we've seen heroes being so large. I don't want to compare and put him, you know, in, in on par with anybody. He's got his own place. And the way he carried himself, the way he's riding the horse, the way he walks as a prince, I think is something else. Please. Yeah, enough please. swag. Enough yeah, swag, right? Please. <laughs> I always say he's a man's man, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yesterday, you know, I I asked um, when I was talking to Mani sir and and uh, ARR and Ash, uh, I said, well, you know, there is this label that it is the Tamil 
Game of Thrones. And they're like, no, no, no. Maybe Game of Thrones is the Tamil pony yeah. itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the English pony itself. And exactly. So so I, I'm almost at the end. But but before I go, Trisha, I have one non-PS1 okay. question for you. Okay. Uh, because it's haunted me. And I know it's been many years since 96. But was there no way for Janu and Ram to be together? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, would the film have worked? Did Manisa do this film? Directed that film? No. They never, <laughs> they never get together. <laughs> That's right. I, I don't know. I mean, there's another film that I've done called Vinay Tandi Varvaya. It's the same fate. I don't end up with the love of my life. So I've started like to think, is that what works for me these days? <laughs> when I don't end up with my hero? We, we did like, you know, uh, debate on that. 96, he was very sure they can't end up together because she's already married, right? So maybe that wouldn't work. I don't know. <laughs> it's just haunted me. I've always wanted to see them together. I uh, wonder how that, that could be worked out. <laughs> I, I think so. I think it's time to consider yeah. it. Consider At least be happy they didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a misfortune every time. Okay, last question is, you know, for you all know the, the content, you all know the book, the film. Uh, for many people in this part of the world, they're not familiar with this world, right? Uh, what is the one thing that really excites you about PS1 that you think people should come to the theatre for? <laughs> Kati, let's start with you. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, say so like you said, uh, you're knowing about Harry Potter. You know about Lord of the Rings. But we have so much of treasure, literary treasure in India. How much of us really know about all that? You know, it's high time, you know, uh, like we've seen children, you know, uh, um, buying these Iron Man's hands or, you know, playing with something from West. Thanks to Rajamoli sir, our kids started picking up the swords and, you know, treasuring our own culture. We are still uh, looking up for Western content. We are still thinking that's something large. But we have so much in ourselves. And I think the literary uh, treasure that we have, I think PS1 is bringing it out. And Manisa is bringing it out. And when you have, you have a master storyteller bringing out such a well-written novel, I think there's fireworks should be expected there. Ravi, for you. Yeah. What, what do you love most about this story? I, I think this story needs to be told. Hmm. And uh, we would say, you know, in Hollywood, uh, James Cameron took Avatar for 12 years. Manisa is taking it for 15 years. He's been having it in, in his hold. 40, you know, years, 40 years. 40, 40 years. years he's been wanting to do 15 it. 15 years at least he's trying to do yeah. it. Correct. Like, Actively yeah. trying. Yeah. But 40 years yeah. it's been inside. Yeah. That genie is out now. <laughs> so for that, you know, people should see this hard work of his, yeah. us and uh, their own story. It's their own story. It's people's story. Nice. Um, I actually feel a lot for what Karthi said because uh, uh, I do feel like um, Indian history uh, or Indian cultural background, even in, in, through a little bit of uh, fiction, historical fiction, we have a lot less representation of that in our pop culture. And there's something so beautiful and so uh, inspiring uh, that one can find <coughs> when, when, when we spend time with it. So I feel like this film offers a glimpse into that. I think a little bit of what the three of them said, and for the grandeur, I mean, for Manisa's vision, I think people need to come out there and see what we've all done. You know, we present this to them proudly and now it's left to them. But it's a film that we are all so proud of. And obviously we want people to come and see that. And to see Manisa's grandeur, the magnitude of it, the sets, the color, all of it, and the content <clears throat> of the film. It's so interesting. Like, honestly, I didn't think I could pull off five volumes, but I couldn't put the books down. That's how interesting the story is, the drama is in, in the film. So I think that for the screenplay. Sir, last word no, to it's, you. It's like, see, Bahubali is one of my favorite films and I think that's something altogether different. But the richness and the grandiosity is there. But what Manisa is trying to do is his take on that where uh, Ravi, though he's a, I, I'm a crown prince, but I don't have a crown. And uh, I'm always in leather and wood and, you know, just a wee bit of gold. Uh, you won't believe I just had this uh, uh, amulet or whatever. And, and uh, I have a earring and I have this uh, tiger claws or whatever, because that's our symbol. I don't have anything. It's just that though I'm a, a crown prince because I'm in battle and I, I, I don't want the trappings of royalty. 
while Ravi will be in silk. He'll have very, he'll have, I think, a, a scene or two, he may have a turban. He doesn't have a crown. The crown comes only during the coronation and thank God he couldn't wear it. How many kilos was that? <laughs> uh, it should be at least 12 kilos. Quite a lot. Like, it, it, so, we, we had it that way. Right. Everything will be as real as possible. He's trying yeah. to do that. So, which will be very interesting for an audience. I'm so sure after the movie's out, when you talk about that period, you're going to see Raja Raja Cholan or Anaditya Karigan or Bandit or whatever. You'll only see them with that. You know, that. Like, you think of Gandhiji, you can only think of Ben Kingsley. Correct. So, we're all very happy that they're going to look at us when, when we yeah. think of something. <laughs> when so we refer. That, I'm sure, will, will my, happen. Yeah, be a takeaway for the audience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so I just like had a small footnote. I think because we ended up speaking about war, it never occurred to me that this film is about war. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a film about love. Hunted, pursued, lost, bled for. And mm -hmm. war is incidental. So I do think this is a film about love. Different forms of love, different yeah. shapes of yes. it. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 How lovely. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, though I have been told it will be only on the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you We're so much. All We're, We're all in the same boat. I shouldn't take it personally. None of you have seen it also. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you and good luck. That was lovely. So Thank much. you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So